Okay. Uh, let's look at some code. Uh, what do we do last week? Uh, we go here. Let me go to main. I want to see how I did main. Okay, good. So I guess uh, we can eliminate this piece. So we create a variable object, right? So if you hear object out there, they're talking about a variable, right? And class that you create a variable from, so they're referring to the data in memory. That's, that's, what, what, that's what they're talking about. And here we're passing that into our ATM example, right? So what I, we have a begin balance of 50. And then what I wanted to do is at the end, I wanted to display the balance. So let's run our uh, ATM example. And uh, what we're going to see, try to see is if this piece here, when we pass it into our ATM program and we modify the, the $50 balance, does it modify the original variable? Remember, we're talking about like for list, it modifies the original variables, but for integers, it creates a copy. So here we're trying to understand, well, will it create a copy or will it work with the original value, right? And this is a very easy example. We're like, okay, we can do this. Then we can create a test case for it. So let's see. Uh, let's display balance. Uh, 50. Deposit, uh, 50. Uh, display balance, uh, okay, deposit to uh, 50, uh, one for balance, we have 100 uh, in balance, uh, exit, and notice down here, this pretty output is that the new piece that I created, so it's this statement here, so it did work with the origin, same original object, right, so uh, what are you saying, sir? So we go here, and we have account, uh, let me copy the code, uh, copy and paste. My penmanship has like gone down the drain, like so I don't write that much anymore. So we're interested in this piece here. Okay, so we have that, and we're like, okay, let's try to understand how this works, right? So uh, oh, let me see here. Okay, so we know, uh, we'll assume this is in a function main, right? So anything, any code that you write goes into memory. So we have main, main has to be loaded onto memory. And it loads all its variables into memory. And here we only have account as one of the variables, right? So then usually uh, classes take up a uh, chunk of memory. So like this could be like uh, the memory for account, right? The account variable. Uh, so, what we're actually, let me uh, eliminate this. Actually, it goes into this memory here, where we have a chunk of a memory. And this would be like some address, maybe like Y100. This would be like some memory address, Y100, completely made up. So then this would point to here, and the account data would be here. Like the value for the variables, right? And then here we would see this value y100 and that tells our program hey in memory y100 you will find the value that was assigned to your class the account data right 50 50 whatever so what i'm saying is when we uh run at run menu when we do the run menu program copy or no copy what does that mean right so here we have the original data so the answer is no copy when we do this why we proved that right with the test case so what happens is when we uh, call run menu run menus here so run menu is loaded run menu is working with account But it knows that account is in Y100. So it is also like going to that memory cell where the value is. And we started with 50, right? We started with 50, but then we deposited uh, 50. So then the value is 100. So it's working with the same 
data in memory, right? That's what that's what they're trying to explain to us when we're passing objects as arguments and uh, on page 550. So that's what's happening, right? No copies created, and we I showed you, right? So we're also create a test case right now for that. Uh, questions? So I know the book doesn't show you memory diagrams, right? Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you why. I mean, when I was in school, like I didn't, I mean, they would talk about like memory and they would just say like, no copies created, a copies created. And I guess I'm a visual person because <laughs> I was like, what are they talking about? It's not till later in some of my courses when I took like the lower level programming classes when they were talking about memory and I was like, oh, that's what they were talking about in the programming class. So now that's why I always like uh, try to explain memory, right? So, so again, this is special memory called stack. This is special memory called heap, right? So uh, if you take my programming two course, like I like cover a lot of these memory concepts in detail. Here in this class, I mainly just give you high level introduction because it's a beginner class, right? Uh, and it's not an objective for this course, but in programming two, it's an objective to understand how code and memory works. So I, I like, I uh, make sure my students understand how that stuff works. So, and I covered this pieces in uh, the, when we were covering lists, right, to show you that uh, lists are not copied all over. And it makes sense because if we have a list of like 10,000 items, why copy the list in another part of memory where it's already in memory? Like, just use that data in memory, right? No need to copy. Okay, um, assuming no questions, I waited, but I didn't see any questions. Okay, so no questions. Let's go ahead and finalize the test case for this piece, right? So we go here, and uh, let me see here. Um, go to ATM. One thing with test cases, we can't we can't use this as a test case because all our test cases that we create are to be run like automatically by the computer without human interaction. And here we have human interaction, right? Because we're asking for input here and and we're sending print here, print print here. So it's kind of like okay, so so uh, how do we test it, right? Well, I mean, we can go here and we can create a function, right? I'm not sure if we can, I guess I can plug, try to plug it into to the menu example. But for now, I'll be like, uh, maybe update account, right? And uh, let me see. I'm trying to think how I could. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. So we pass an account. I was going to try to plug it back into the ATM example, but uh, I guess we could, right? We could. Or not. Let's keep it simple. Uh, so we can say uh, update account. How can we update the account? Well, here we'll just use like some. Deposit 50. Okay. And you'll see like what I mean with the test case. So we go here and let's look at our test cases. I'm not sure if I uh, configured the test cases for bank account. I think I did. Uh, uh, where are we? Uh, classes? Test classes? Yeah, I did, right? So we have a lot of test cases. And this one we are just trying to test. So test uh, account. Uh, function parameter uh, no copy and no, let me see uh, 
I think, right? So let's not get too technical. <clears throat> okay, so test that account function parameter works with original variable, right? And then uh, somebody's going to be like, what do you mean original variable? And we'll, we'll explain that in the test case. That way, if uh, somebody's looking at this test case, they understand, right? So then here we say original variable, right? So that's the original variable. So now we're, we're trying to see, well, if we use it in a function, is it using the original variable? So then here we do, uh, what do we do? Uh, uh, from, uh, import bank account, I need what, uh, ATM? import uh, update account, right? So now we can use it here. So we're like, okay, uh, update account, account. And I deposited 50, right? So we can go and look again just to verify that. So I'm depositing 50. So if it's working with the original variable, then uh, I should be able to create an assertion equal that account dot get balance is uh, 100 right because it's working with the original variable and it's not creating a different variable in memory where we would have two variables and maybe uh, the value wouldn't be 100 right when when we use this variable some other variable would be changed and, and not this one so that's what we're trying to prove so let's go to run test and let's clear here, let me uh, let me run it, and we want to make sure that uh, let me see uh, right here, right. Test function parameter works with original variable. Yep, so it works, right? So meaning like no copies created. This is an accurate rep accurate representation of, of what's happening in memory for us. That's what we're trying to prove. So now we can go in here and uh, we can say uh, object oriented uh, class object variable as parameter commit. Okay, so there was no questions. Let me.